in the beginning, before Hitchcock Madrona was anything, I was in a career in banking, and I felt mm, possibly a little exaggerating, but suicidal in that job. No, I didn't feel any sort of creativity or um, fulfillment from this the job in banking, so one day I quit, and I didn't tell my fiance at the time. I was there when he got home, and I said, I need to do something different. I need to do something creative. And he's like, well, what is that? And I said, makeup. So I, uh, with an econ degree, I went to work uh, at a cosmetics counter. And in that time, in about, for about eight months, I worked there, sold lipstick, made people happy, felt fulfilled, and wrote a business plan for the store. Um, I had told a few people that I wanted to open a store and that led to a space in Madrona, small 200 square foot uh, space that I wasn't even sure I was gonna do it, but I said it and somebody, the space landed in my lap. So I said, okay, I guess I'm doing this. Dustin was on a layover uh, for about two days and I said, you know, because he's been in high-end retail for so many years, I said, you need to see the space. You need to come meet me in Madrona, have breakfast and see the space. And she didn't really know what she wanted to do yet. She wanted to open a boutique of some sort. And we just kept talking about it. She knew I was in the business and wanted my feedback. And uh, so I said to her, I go, well, you know, what is your passion? What do you really enjoy? Or do you want a um, the space to be filled to the roof? Because it was so tiny that uh, you couldn't have had ready to wear in the space uh, unless you had racks to the ceiling. And we both concluded that accessories was the way to go. And she was so excited about that. He directed me in so many uh, smart ways that I hadn't thought of. And I said, you have to do this with me. I don't know how, what we're going to do. He had a big career. He was flying all over the world. I had a great opportunity to work for a lot of different amazing companies. Um, started out with Barney's New York in the Seattle area, not New York. Um, and then ended up at Patagonia after that, uh, followed by Prada, and then Hermes, and then finally at Etro before I devoted my time fully to Eric and I's business, Hitchcock Madrona. You know, he helped for the first two years just remotely. So that was Everything just happened like I wanted it, I thought about it, I, I wanted to be my own boss, I wanted to work in a creative atmosphere, and uh, wasn't sure how I would do it, and it just all fell into place. Uh, next thing we knew, Hitchcock Madrona was born, and it just evolved into this jewelry, accessory, uh, artistic space, uh, and we said it has to be a place that we love going to. And at that time, it was her full time, and I would just visit once a month to do visual related things. It had to be a space that Erica enjoyed being in all day, five days a week, selling something that she loved. I knew that if we could get those things down, it, it would be, the more enjoyable the space was for her to be, the more enjoyable the space would be for the client and that they would read that from her. So that's what we did, and here we are nine and a half years later and uh, doing what we do. And I can honestly say we love what we do because it's exactly the type of place we want to be every day. Jewelry is an interesting thing to sell. It's magical in a way. Women will come in and they'll fall in love with a piece and it will mean so much and practicality really isn't a factor, so it's just pure joy. Um, I mean, all the great love stories in the history of the world have been jewelry's in there somewhere, and that's really fun.